it must be that time of the week again because you got three questions for me, I've got three answers. It's that simple. And it's a Phoenix special. His first question. I know it may never happen, but can you imagine Sonic Boom crossing over with Star Wars Rebels, even if it was for one episode? If so, what do you think it would be like? A Sonic style, a Star Wars styled Sonic Boom, where it's Sonic Luke Hogwalker with Princess Leia Rose and Darth Eggman who will probably have more quirky, uh, eccentric charisma than, than the real Vader ever had. And probably Qbot and Orbot will play the part of C-3PO and R2-D2. So... C-3P Orb and Q-D2. I think it'd be kind of cool, you know, a little bit quirky, a little bit out there. You know, it'd be like, the chaos, use the chaos, and all that jazz. So, yeah, I could see that working. Uh, I know, question two, I know everyone will uh, likely have seen it by now, but your thoughts on the Star Wars The Force Awakens teaser? Um, it's a lot to comprehend in this because all we know is that it's supposed to be set, you know, some years after the events of Episode 6, or the original third movie of the Star Wars franchise, and it's essentially the the old um, the old the old teams have come back together with Han Solo dusting off the Millennium Falcon and bringing that back out, and Skywalker is supposed to be back in some capacity, and there's this new villain called Ko. Although not much is being said about this particular antagonist, so I think it's just going to be a case of wait and see what you know as the the plot thickens. But it's getting people thinking, and I like that. Question three: Your thoughts on Sega restructuring? Oh, where do I begin with this? Now, I understand that. They're moving away from the console market in Japan because nobody's buying consoles and the mobile games market is where it's at, as far as Japanese game um, fans are concerned. I get that, but in the rest of the world where console games and consoles themselves are basically the best to have, my opinion only, there's an old expression that comes to mind, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. So, saying you're going to only focus on PC games and mobile games, um, here's a little thing. Sonic's 25th anniversary is coming up for June 23, 2016. And to not be able to do a major anniversary game for arguably their biggest cash cow ever, I think is a very bad business decision. Or, as Triple H would say, that's not best for business and I know somewhere in the back Oni and Weave are in the in their chairs eating popcorn and downing slurpees I'm thinking dude dude seriously you have to rest you have to reference that nah, nah. I know Weave all hates that but I know he gets a certain chuckle I can see him smiling right there <laughs> but uh I don't agree with a lot of the decisions that Sega are making because again you don't bite the hand that feeds you, because Sega are doing very well in the Western world, along with the recent Aliens game, which is supposed to be actually giving them some credibility again. But there's been some words on the wire going around, and until we get any kind of confirmation as such, we treat it purely as rumor. There's been the rumor floating around that Microsoft are looking to buy them again, which... Part of me wouldn't have a problem with that because Microsoft are well funded and look at the Xbox and the Xbox 360. Can't comment on the Xbox One because I don't have one. But then I've spoken to some people that wouldn't have a problem if Disney bought Sega. I mean, look at what they did for Sonic the Hedgehog in Wreck-It Ralph. I know that's a movie and not a game, but it's still done using 
you know, computer generated software, so, you know, computer, you know, CGI software, so it'll be intriguing, but considering what Disney have done for Marvel and their movies, if Disney were to announce today that Sonic the Hedgehog was going to come home to Disney, I'd be real happy with that. Those have been your three questions for today. You know how this routine works by now. You send me a question to my Twitter link in the outro, comment section below, or to the Dynamic Night webpage, link in the description. Until then, ask again, and good night from the night.